Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms. Now, full disclosure, I have no idea where to go next, but what I do know is we now have the outer ocean to explore, so let's go do that. So, uh, oh, what? What is this? What is this? There is a bottle floating in the water. In it is a message. South of here is the Isle of Conflict, where fighters level 30 or higher compete? <gasps> Well, I'm I'm barely there, so I'm gonna say that is a mission for later, Kim. Now Kim can't do that. Let's go see where can we go? So many options. This is just gonna be me wandering around being like, how about this one? Oh, new enemies? Do we have new enemies? New friends? Oh, sort of. They're a different color. But I mean, I'll go with it. Let's spark him, Cecilia. Brutal attack? No! Ow! No! Don't! Why do you gotta be so brutal? Why you gotta be so brutal? Take that horned beast. Now we smash him. Yeah. Critical hit. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Jack. Okay. Continue. What's this? Oh, there's the arena. Okay, but we don't want to go there right now, so it's fine to ignore it. Uh, oh. There's an item in the bottle. Duplicator! Nice! Those are handy. Whoa! Oh my god. A Somerol. Don't... Don't eat seafood. They... It's dangerous. Okay. Let's... Spark them. Boom. Like seriously, that is nightmare fuel. This is this is what lives in the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean. I'm so fascinated by the ocean because like the pressure is so great that we still can't get down to certain parts. And there's things that live down there and it's just like it's normal life. Like, oh, it's another Tuesday here being a, uh, a volcano worm, right? And they probably look exactly like that thing right there. Well, we don't know. We can go to outer space. We we can shoot a probe that can get out of our solar system. But can we go down to the bottom of the ocean? Hell no. And even if we could, why would we want to? That thing lives down there. I don't want to meet her. Ugh. Freaky. Um, I used to have this book that I got. My dad had it when he was a kid, and it was this underwater life book. It was, like, all about the oceans. And up on top, you know, there's fishies and dolphins. And it's all cute. And then it gets progressively more terrifying the lower down you go. And there's, like, Adler fish. Oh, hey, it's Baskar. Okay, Kind of center myself then. Uh, oh yeah, let's see where we are on the map. Okay. Okay. I don't know, let's go this way. I feel like there's something that's gonna be... Oopsies. I'll... I feel it in my bones. We're getting somewhere, friends. This might just be an episode of me being like, Where the hell am I? Here we go. It's, uh, it's not often that I show a battle with the same enemies a second time. But this just might be the only content you're getting, so buckle up, friends. We're electrocuting fish today. Reliving our childhood nightmares of deep-sea living. 
like marinara's trench just google that right now and just stare at it and just let that sink in for a minute i can't i can't even get to the floor of a swimming pool without my head hurting like and that thing it's just too deep it's too deep oh right i came here to look at my map again where are we Oh, let's go this way. So this is the giant desert that people have referenced in this game so far. Oh, are you serious? Come on. Where am I? Oh my god. Of course they would do that. All right. I don't know how to navigate. What the fuck? Oh my lord, this is an Adler fish with a body and no fangs. Psycho crack it. Oh wait, what's this? Let's learn that. I'm gonna hide. Cecilia's gonna hide out of sheer terror. Bye! I should have been using that this whole time. Oh no, you're stealing my nachos! My Doritos! I use that interchangeably. I don't know if you noticed. Those are my Doritos, bitch! Alright. Let's shoot it. Let's try this again. And let's spark them. Nope. Not learning that anytime soon. Take that, Gilmore. I can't be the only one who immediately thinks of Gilmore Girls, right? You don't even have to be familiar with the show. Which if you are, and if you haven't seen it in a while, and you watch it again, it's kind of like, oh wow, these two women are terrible people. <laughs> but alas, I digress. We're here playing Wild Arms, not reviewing 90s television. Oh, that wasn't even 90s. That was 2000s. Oh. Oh, Kim. You're getting old. Is there anything on this island? Where's... Oh, here. Let's just go through the strait. That must be surf right there. They don't like me there. We're never going back. <laughs> Excuse me while I look at the map a ten jillion times. Okay. This? Oh no. Alright, do excuse me. I'm skipping that one. There's only so many times you can watch me kill horned fish and still be entertained. Uh, okay, good. Just. Whoop, 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 I may just very well cause the extinction of all the horned fish in Fulgaia at this rate. Especially if they keep brutal attacking me, those jerks. Alright, Snow Ravine? <gasps> What's here? <gasps> the white of the s the... <laughs> Pardon me. The white of snow covers and cleanses the evil. My power of snow. I will provide it to you, sorceress and warriors, if you wish to cleanse Fulgaia. I sure do. Thank you, Ice Rune. Thank you. I think I'll give that to Rudy. Yep, I will. Nice. Onward. Can I get on to this island here? Maybe? Yeah, I can. We got some unfinished business up here. Okay. To the photosphere, or what's left of it. Oh, hi. I am rig... rig... Oh my, that's a mouthful. 
Rigdebrite, the guardian of the stars who fell onto Fulgaia with a metal star. Use my power to save the world if you believe in what starlight is cast upon. Oh, that's so poetic. Oh my gosh, so that guardian's been there? The entire time the photosphere's been here. I think. Because that was living underneath the thing. Oh my goodness. Where is it? Where is it? Star rune. Oh wow! This just ups everything except strength and attack power. How much of a difference is it? Oh, 260... Oh, it was right there. <laughs> uh, I'm willing to take that hit. Yeah, put the star rune on, man. That thing's OP. Alright. So far, this has been a very fruitful outing in the uh, outer sea. Or would it be an ocean? Let's look at it. Sea is like salt water that's landlocked. An ocean surrounds land. This looks more like an outer ocean. Besides, we like, uh, we like alliteration around here. Gosh. Okay, let's go south. Oh, hello. Hello? Another friend? Oh, you bet, my buds. I am the one who flew down from the heavens. My wings no longer lift, but I can rid Fulgaia of the dark cloud cover. Heaven's rune acquired. Oh! Is that for Cecilia? Where's Heavens? There it is. Yes, it is. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Let's get all of these guardians we're obtaining just by being out in the outer ocean. Okay. Oh, the tower's here. We're by Court Sam. Can I get in there? Oh, no. What about this side? Okay, good. What is that? Oh no, shoot it! Kill it with fire! Still trying to learn this thing. Uh, analyze it, I guess. What's- well, give me deets, Helldiver. Oh, that reminds me of a really good- Oh, look at that! That's a cool move. Guilty Blade. Holy Diver. Da 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 Aha, chi machi. Weakness Earth, got it. I can do that. I think I have a Geo Ring, don't I? I do! Nice! Okay, shoot it again. You attack it, and let's do, um, break. There we go. Make quick, quick work of this Deathwing bitch here. I hope that doesn't kill me. Oh no. Not Cecilia. Oh, this is rude. Uh, okay. Do it again. Revive C. Oh no, that was so rude. Don't paralyze me! Ugh! This is redonkulous. Okay, we can do this. Ow. It looked like a very gentle tap, didn't it? Oh my god, it's so fast! It's too fast for jumping jack flash sonic vision that shit. And break. Yeah, you can't escape that, can you? Serves you right, Helldiver. Jack has gone up a level. Oh, that's pretty good experience and money, at least. Oh, hey, my buddy! Okay, whoops. We're gonna go take a nap in Court Sam. And we're also gonna buy some rings if I can afford them. Because rings are life. Rings, rings, rings. I think. 
this is the ring store? It is. What can I do for you? You can sell me your wares. Oh, I can buy a couple, I guess. Do I own a flame one? Yeah. Wind? I do. Do I own one of all of them? Oh! I didn't think I did. I've got a geo ring equipped and an aqua ring. Okay. What's gonna be- I think holy is gonna be the most useful. What's the next useful? Thunder and aqua, maybe? Or flame. Oh, I can buy one of each then. And then the other ones I don't think happen as often, so I'll be back for those. I like having two so that I can put both on Jack and Rudy at the same time. Kind of speeds up battles. Cecilia doesn't matter so much. I gotta reload my guns. And I'm gonna sleep at the kid village inn. <laughs> oh, he called it a gorgeous evening. What a charming little dude. Okay, let's save. You can watch this time, I guess. We'll keep talking. I wonder if someone in this town gives me a hint of where I should go next, because I'm now just remembering where I do need to go. And someone must tell you. Do I have any more treasures? No, okay. Oops. Ah! Uh, do you tell me? There is a cave to the south, ah, which leads to an ancient ruin on the other side of the outer ocean. A party that passed through here said that no matter how much the world is in danger, the people of Fulgaya should never lose hope. That's what being human is all about. Oh, that's interesting. Hope is what... Hope is what being human is all about. Remember that. That's a recurring theme in this series. They do a good job. The children from the orphanage made up some story about messengers from the heavens. Those children have strong hearts and imaginative minds. <laughs> Following the outer ocean to the south, there is a cave. This mysterious cave is said to lead to the most- the lost sacred land of the guardians. Okay, yeah, that's where we're going next. But I think in order to get there, I need to go somewhere else first. So I'll see if I can find that spot in this episode. And then we'll head to the cave that everyone's talking about. So let's see. Where would it be? Hmm. That looks promising. Let's go see if that works. Hi, Earth Golem. How are you doing, my buddy? See you. Uh, I immediately forgot what directions I was going to give myself. <laughs> okay, let's just go south and around for now, shall we? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh! I'm not saying anything because I, I just have no words. They always present you with these cute things. These giant freaking eyes and they're like, KILL HIM! And I know they're batting at me, but I am like a good... ten times this thing's weight. <laughs> these tiny little beasts, I invade their home. I kill all of their brethren, these poor defenseless little cuties. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, here's the thing. I need to be able to bring my dude over here, but he can't ride on the boat, so that's the thing I want to go for. I wonder if I need it over there. I'm probably going to need it over there. We're not going in there yet. We're not. I'm keeping my promise. Oh, I see why we can't get inside over there. There's a letter in the floating bottle. Help! I'm in the secret black magic lab of the demons! Many were sacrificed in an experiment with a large dark crystal. <gasps> oh no. The rest of the letter is too faded to read. Oh, crud muffins. Okay, so going 
West is not an option. At least from this point. Where would it be? Gosh, okay. Let's just keep going. I'll run into it eventually. Where am I again? I don't remember. Uh, okay. I have a feeling I know where I want to go now. Oh! Can I get there? I want to go there. This at least will help. Yeah, the isolated guilds! It's time for stronger magic, my friends. Would you guys like to try my new potion? Yeah. A gruesome taste and smell spreads through their mouths. Oh, that's not good. Oh! Yeah, I want to try another potion. Oh, a... Oh. This gruesome taste was good. Okay, we're all healed. <laughs> this is the magic guild. You can assemble advanced magic here. <gasps> I have three crest graphs. Oh my gosh. Okay. Increased defense of the party. Up the counter rate. Reflect magic for the party. Revive and full HP. Recover partial HP for the party. Is there like a high cure? I think there is, right? Yeah. Recover full HP for an ally. Full recover. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Yeah. That's what I want. Okay, what are we calling it? High heal. Sounds good. I also want... What do I want? There's... I think there's like a... Ooh, double attack power? Don't mind if I do. Prevent fatal blows. That'll be handy later. Guard using a dummy. Teleport. Warp to a known town. I feel so OP now. Yeah. What else do I want to do? Black magic. Let's get some black magic up in here. Absorb HP from a group. Whew. Holy attack magic. Attack magic for all enemies. I wonder what that is. Let's try it. High Blast. Ah, uh, okay. I'm all good for now. When there's a need, come back again. Cool! That's so exciting. Alright. Now I can teleport anywhere in the world. <gasps> Let's try that now. I think I know where I want to go. Oof. Also, this is going to need some... Rearranging. Oh no. I'll do that off screen. This is gonna take too long. Let's teleport for now. I wanna go to Port Timney. I think. I think this is closer to where I wanna be. Oh, hello. That's where I wanna go eventually. Where am I right now? I'm gonna need. My dude for that. Okay. I want up in there right now. Oh no. Uh, oh, oh, I just want past the bridge. Is there another way around that? Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Gosh. Alright. Well. Sure glad I found that out the hard way. Okay, no. Okay, okay, reset. Here's what we're doing. We're going back to Port Timony. <laughs> we're teleporting back to where we were before. Let's go to Court Sam again. Everything revolves around Court Sam. Excuse me, buddy. There's an item floating in the bottle. A crest graph! That makes me happy. Okay. Okay? Okay! Oh my god, what? Uh, let's analyze these. 
Maybe it's just the polygons, but sometimes... I know we already faced enemies like these. The colors. They aggravate me. I'm scared. And it could be just, you know, crappy polygon shapes, but... Ah! Oh, it's weak against evil. Gotcha. These are holy beasts, really? Yep, they're holy beasts. Let's put on a demon ring for you. Uh, oh no, 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 no. You just put on your reflex, dude. You put on the demon ring. Because you're gonna attack first. And you are gonna do dark blow. <laughs> Naughty. All right, Rudy, smack him. Nice. Continue. Here we go. Here's the money. Oh yeah. Forgotten ruins. Ready for story time? I sure am. Except we get this lovely honky-tonk music again. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking into some sort of psychological horror here. Bullet clip. Great. All right, before I grab that thing on the table. No, makes sense. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Go. Grab. Get. Get it. Give me. Ocarina acquired. There's a memo located on this music. There's a memo located under the ocarina. The giant's ocarina will call the registered golem to the controller's location. The existence of Holmcross, the successor to the golem, which was built during battles of a thousand years ago, has been confirmed. <laughs> Someday, an active golem will be excavated. Then it will be a great chance to try the ocarina. I can't wait. Hmm. Let's read these books. An old diary. Do you want to read it? Yeah. This man-made child grew up among us. Surprising, this child knows what pain is, although he was built as a weapon. If I can learn pain, then it can learn compassion. Oh, if it can learn pain, it can learn compassion. I find myself communicating with this man-made child as if I am his parent. Yes, this child is more human-like than anybody else I know. From this day forward, this will be my grandchild. His name will be... <gasps> Holy shit, it's Rudy! What? I want to read the diary more, yeah. The forbidden life that stepped into the realm of the gods. This is a result of the legendary battle with the demons. Distorting people's minds, making fools of their lives. The realm of the gods we should have not tread. This little life is from the time of legends. This little life uses the forbidden powers as if it were a toy. What did the people of a thousand years ago expect from this little life? Oh my god, we're reading about Rudy right now, you guys! You guys! You guys, don't ask me how I know, I'm just pretty sure. We'll find out more later. Do you want to read it? Yeah, I do. Deep inside a heavily sealed ruin, I found a small life trying to hibernate. I don't know how important this will be to my studies of ancient remains, but I will take this little life to the outside world and dedicate this short life of mine to it. He's talking about, you're talking about Grandpa Rudy. You found old man Zeppet's place. Or at least an old place of his. Oh, man. All right, we got the ocarina. Now, the cave we wanted to go into was south of Court Sam. So for now, we're going to go back to Court Sam. And in the next episode, we will go to that cave. So, friends, thanks for joining me for this episode. I will see you in the next one when we see what's behind that cave. Adios!